recent news reveals that tire companies are in love with EVs. As we all know, the tire business has always been a brutal one. Low growth, low margins, and extreme competition. About half of customers are largely indifferent to the brand of tires they buy. All that matters is the price. But there is good news. EVs will provide tire makers with the biggest growth opportunity seen in decades. What exactly is this opportunity? Is the tire business a good investment now? How will this change the EV industry? Let's find out. To begin, let's look at how the tire business has been doing before EVs. The total value of the tire market has stayed at about $50 billion for the last few years. Experts don't think it will grow much in the future. It increases a bit faster than the population, but much slower than the economy. So, in some ways it grows slower than toothpaste. From 2017 to 2022, the tire and rubber market in the US got bigger by about 9%. The top three tire companies sold more than half of all tires in the country. In 2022, Americans bought 330 million tires, which is just a little more than the number they bought five years ago. Overall, the demand for tires is expected to grow by about 0.8% until 2027. This is not a business that grows fast, and no one thinks much about it. So, compared to other businesses, tires aren't among the most competitive. But what exactly are the problems tire companies are facing? First of all, the tire industry is affected a lot by the prices of the materials it uses, like rubber and steel. Companies have little control over these prices. Tires are mainly made of rubber, fabric, steel, and something called carbon black, which makes them tough and black. Also, many buyers don't care much about which tire brand they choose, they just look at the price. About half of customers don't strongly prefer a particular brand. Not only that, but predicting when people will need to change their tires is hard. It depends on how much they drive, where they live, and unexpected things like punctures. With all these factors, it's tough for tire companies to predict how their business will do. Sometimes it grows, sometimes it shrinks, and it's hard to know why. So how can tire companies compete with each other? They do this by making their products stand out. How do they do that? They try to make them last longer. So basically, the research and development, R&D, that tire companies invest in becomes part of their identity over time. By making tires last longer, they're slowing down how often people need to replace them. So it's a really challenging business. They look a lot different. Some believe a real move to EVs will open up a whole new realm of opportunity. After all, EV tires cost 50% more and need to be changed 20% more often. But what exactly has changed in traditional tires, as they still look the same? At first sight, today's tires may seem similar to those 150 years ago, mostly rubber tubes filled with air. However, a lot has changed since then. Michelin, one of the biggest tire companies globally, introduced the radial tire in 1946. Since then, there have been significant innovations. The rubber compounds and materials used have changed a lot. This includes using compounds that stay soft even in colder temperatures, making more durable winter tires possible. Tires are made of various materials. Changes to these ingredients, the types of compounds used, and tread design can affect how well the tire performs. For instance, racing tires are very smooth for better grip on the road, like the treadless rear wheels on a drag racer. However, these tires might slip in wet conditions. Most regular road tires have some tread on them, along with other adjustments to make them safer in bad weather. But treads can slow down tires, reducing performance, gas mileage, or even how far the car can go. In the end, it's all about balance. If you improve one aspect, you might sacrifice another. The key is to find the right balance in different areas. Now, let's talk about electric vehicles, which bring a whole new set of challenges and opportunities. Here's something interesting. EVs are much quieter than traditional cars with internal combustion engines, ICE. This has its pros and cons. The quieter engine makes tire noise more noticeable. Think about the sound of a basketball bouncing. That's similar to the air inside a tire vibrating as you bounce the basketball. Tires do the same thing when they roll over bumps or rough surfaces. Some vehicles are more sensitive to this noise frequency depending on how they're designed. But there are ways to reduce this noise, like adding foam to absorb the sound. But wait, that's not all the tire companies are facing. 
Gasoline, our most valuable resource, still holds much more energy per pound than a typical electric vehicle, EV battery. You can get a lot more mileage from gasoline in a car compared to the current lithium-ion battery technology used in EVs. For example, the battery pack in a Chevy Bolt, which can go 259 miles on a single charge, weighs about 960 pounds. In contrast, a similar gas-powered Chevy Cruze can travel nearly 550 miles on one tank of gas. The fuel tank holds 13.7 gallons, which weighs just over 80 pounds. Scientists are working hard to improve this situation. While EV batteries don't store energy as efficiently as gasoline, EVs use that stored energy much more effectively. Now this is where tire companies come in. When you put gasoline in a car, only a small amount of that energy actually goes into making the wheels turn, somewhere between 16 to 25%. Most of the energy from gasoline engines, about 65 to 72 percent, gets lost as heat coming off the engine and other parts of the car. But electric vehicles, EVs, use about two-thirds of their energy to power the wheels, and even more if they have special technologies like regenerative braking. Cars also lose energy through the tires, due to something called rolling resistance. This is basically a force that slows the tires down as they roll, similar to what would happen if you rolled a ball on the ground. Since EVs don't lose energy through engines like traditional cars do, it's really important to reduce the energy loss through tires to make EVs as efficient as possible. Improving the tires can make a big difference in how far an EV can go on a single charge. On top of that, and those tires are scrubbing the asphalt hard. The regenerative braking feature common on EVs is an additional force on the tire moving in the opposite direction to slow the vehicle down. How much effect will tires actually have on an EV's range? Studies have found that your choice of tires can affect how far an electric car can go by up to 10, maybe even 15%. So if a car can travel 300 miles on one charge, picking the right tires could give you an extra 45 miles. One big challenge, and possibly the best thing for tire companies, is that electric vehicles, EVs, wear out tires faster. This could be the first time in many years that demand for tires goes up because of changes in the auto market. But wait, there are more opportunities for tire companies? EVs are much heavier than regular cars with internal combustion engines. For example, the Canero EV weighs about 20% more than its ICE version. To give you an idea, a GMC Sierra 1500 pickup with a turbo diesel engine weigh around 5,540 pounds, but the GMC Hummer EV is almost twice as heavy as that. Not only are EVs heavier, but they also accelerate faster. For instance, a regular Nero car takes about 10.4 seconds to go from 0 to 100 kmph at its fastest, but the Nero EV can do it in just 7.8 seconds. Many EVs can accelerate so quickly that they're comparable to supercars. If you've ever been in an EV or driven with a friend who has one, you've probably experienced this firsthand. When they hit the gas pedal, you'll feel yourself being pushed back in your seat, and it's quite impressive. What makes these EVs so fast? This is because of something called torque, which measures how much power an engine sends to the wheels. Unlike traditional engines, electric motors can deliver torque almost instantly, which is why you feel pushed back in your seat when an electric car accelerates quickly. When a car speeds up like that, it puts a lot of pressure on the tires as they try to grip the road and move the vehicle forward. And if the car is heavier, like many electric vehicles are, the tires have to work even harder to keep the car moving. The number of operators and competitors there are, half of the cons customer base that's kind of buying based on price rather than brand, and then the inability to kind of know when those customers are going to come to you. It just creates a dynamic that, you know, on January 1st, it's awfully difficult to know if your business is going to grow 3% or if it's going to decline 3%. But wait, there is more. Electric vehicles also have a feature called regenerative braking, which adds extra pressure on the tires as it slows the car down. Because of all this strain, high-performance tires wear out faster, even under normal conditions. Now if you add the weight of an electric car and its powerful acceleration, those tires wear out even quicker. Some electric cars are wearing out their tires in just 15,000 to 20,000 miles, which is a concern because tires for these cars are really expensive. As electric vehicles become more popular, 
it will become a good thing for companies like Goodyear and other tire manufacturers. Let's see what tire companies are expecting from all this. Michelin predicts that the demand for tires used in electric vehicles, EVs, will increase by 6 to 7 percent by 2027, compared to the current rate of 1 or 2 percent. Analytics firm Alex Partners forecasts that the overall market for EV tires will grow by a significant 33 percent every year until 2031. But what about internal combustion vehicles? Well, they are expected to decrease by 2 percent. In the United States, the average age of a vehicle was just over 12 years in 2023. The firm estimates that replacing tires for EVs over that time will cost about twice as much as replacing tires for ICE vehicles. EV tires are approximately 50% pricier and need to be replaced about 20% more frequently. This trend has been consistently observed by tire replacement chains for the past two to three years. For instance, at Tesla, a car needs new tires every 15,000 miles, compared to the typical 40 or 50,000 miles for ICE vehicles. Sometimes even 12,000 miles might be enough for tire replacement. Considering this, there's a growing market each year for tire companies, which is a notable change from the past few decades. But does all this mean that better tires for EV won't be produced? No, big tire companies' EVs tires last longer than regular ones. Bridgestone's Enza EEV tire has a warranty for 50,000 miles, while Goodyear's electric drive tire offers 60,000 miles. New technologies help these tires last longer, especially as more people switch to electric cars. Not only that, but as American cars get bigger, they need bigger tires, sometimes over 18 inches. This means more costs for consumers who want bigger wheels, which makes tire companies focus on making more money. Even though there's a chance for tire companies to grow because of heavier cars and bigger wheels, they have limited money for research and development. So what do you think? Are tire companies the next big investment? Will they change the EV industry? Let's hear your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you.